Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to talk about this recent activity where Archie's actually gone union protesting. That's right, he's, he's, got, he's gone and joined the union picket line to protest some of the cuts that are going to happen to uh, health care in Queensland. And uh, basically what's happened is um, the, uh, the state government, led by Campbell Newman, with the, the Health Minister Lawrence Springboard, they're about to sack a thousand full-time staff, this is nurses and other health professionals, in the Metro North area. Metro North is a area which goes all the way from, uh, it includes the, 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 the Royal Brisbane, that's the Royal Brisbane Women's, uh, the includes the Prince Charles Hospital, and uh, they're basically, they're basically going to be um, getting rid of a thousand workers, and this is pretty nasty, vicious stuff. And uh, I got to say, I'm really disappointed with the Campbell Newman government. Really disappointed. And uh, I'm a swinging voter myself. I, I really, you know, I, I, I vote depending on on um, on the issues and, and the election. And uh, I gotta say, I'm really, really disappointed. And uh, the just to clarify, there the um, the the Metro North area itself there, um, it's it covers a an area of uh, just over four thousand square kilometres, extending from Brisbane up to uh, the river to um, north of Kilcoy, and uh, servicing a a population approaching a million, well, actually 900,000. And uh, I just got to say, you know, it's really sad when you, you hear about nurses who are, uh, my wife's a Royal, uh, a Royal Brisbane registered nurse, and um, it's really sad when, when they start worrying about job security and will they have a job, and, um, you know, it, it, it's hard enough. I, I, I went to drop off lunch for my wife last year, and uh, I, I, cause she she left her her purse in the car, so I, I went to to bring up some 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 money and, and a few things for lunch for her. And uh, I walked through the doors, and this woman walked out with a, a a baby that had just died. And this is vicious shit. I mean, geez, these people, nurses and uh, healthcare professionals, are dealing with very, um, you know, very trying situations in life, and uh, they don't even have job security and uh, it just stinks it really really stinks and uh, you know I, I, I can understand both sides of politics they always blame the other side but Jesus Campbell you've got to take responsibility you're the premier here in Queensland and yet you're sacking you're sacking a thousand health cup health care professionals I mean it's just pretty I mean if you're gonna reduce funds on something Pick something like like racing industry, horse racing, or you know, infrastructure like like like, like for, for, for um for un you know, non important buildings or monuments to to eagle, egos of politicians. But I mean to cut a thousand nursing staff. I mean that's just it's just nasty in my book. And um I, I don't I don't know what to say. The the um I attended this this. I'm not a unionist myself, but I attended it. Because my wife was actually at work the night, and uh, I uh, I attended the uh, the meeting on her behalf, and I gotta say it's pretty pretty sad when the um, when healthcare is being used as a political football by either side of politics. And Campbell Newman, I'm really quite. I tell you honestly, Campbell, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I voted for you. I'm disappointed. You really haven't taken responsibility um, for ensuring things in the state continue. And, and health care, I mean, geez, that's, that's just such a wonderful thing we've got in Australia is Medicare and, 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 and health care. And uh, this, this lady just speaking here, this, this nurse here, Campbell, was a, a lady who'd spent over 25 years in the... She's a registered nurse and she was retrenched by policy from your government. And it's just, I don't know what to say, it's just nasty stuff. And um, 
I'm very disappointed with the LNP, and uh, it just just makes me sad that you've got people like nurses. They're not on huge money, okay? Then okay, they 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 are. They earn reasonable money, but they've got a bachelor's degree. They've got a lot of training, a lot of responsibility, and they're being shafted by your government. And it it's it's pretty pretty awful, really, Campbell and uh, Lawrence Springborg. I've written to the Borg. And, I mean, there's so much spin in the letter he sent me. So much spin, I almost got dizzy reading his letter. And, uh, I mean, my, my local member, Tanya Smith, I mean, she, she just, just toes the party line. You know, she, I, I would appreciate it if a politician came to me and said, look, I agree with you, it's pretty shitty, this is what's happening, blah, blah, blah. But they just tow, they put such spin onto it, they blame the other side for everything. And um, they just, you know, either side of politics uh, it seems to do this. And I've got to tell you, the, the LNP coming in, I, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy with how they're running the state. I'm not happy that, that decent people like nurses are about to get sacked and fired. And, and I'm not happy that services are being cut. I know myself, my wife is a, is a nurse at the Royal Brisbane her training has been slashed since Campbell Newman came in. Slashed! Slashed to the bone. I'm Archie Luxury, and this is my story. Please tell me yours. <laughs> <laughs>